Our next contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first. Here we go, next contest here at Brawl Fest. Big contest, and then I say big, we got two big competitors. We've got Stevie Richards taking on Bill Collier, and this should be a clash here at Brawl Fest. Stevie Richards, well-traveled, as we all know Stevie Richards from the ESW days, Blue World Order, going against former ESW champion Bill Collier. I know the fans here in attendance at Brawl Fest very excited to see Stevie Richards here. But he's going to definitely have his hands full against, again, former ESW heavyweight champion Bill Collier. And Bill Collier's got something to prove to himself here and to the fans. He's not going to let some, in his opinion, has been come in here and walk all over him. He's established his bones here in ESW and he's going to defend these grounds. And he's going to send Stevie ho Richards home without going to the pay window. Well, I'll tell you, Stevie Richards, you. I know it's been a long time ago, Scotty, but if you founded the Blue World Order, your mark is etched permanently on professional wrestling. And you know, Coward, tell you it, he's had some demons to fight off. He was supposed to be in the title match a couple of shows ago, mysteriously attacked behind the behind stage. We still know who did it, although some fingers point to RJ City. I wouldn't even know if he's completely recovered. I mean, there was a lot of rumors about concussions, protocol. I mean, the, he obviously passed, but again, those lingering effects. You can still pass concussion protocol, but you can still have side effects. Oh, yeah, look at half the players in the NFL and NHL. Yeah. What do you say, Stevie? They're concussed. They won't admit it, but yeah. Stevie Richards had well-traveled ESW, Ring of Honor, TNA, WWE. I mean, he's been everywhere. And now he's here at ESW Brawl Fest. Pleasure seeing him here tonight. But like I said, he's got no easy task here in big, big time Bill Collier. Oh, and now a knife shot by Collier. Taking Richards right off of his feet. And he's been on the receiving end of some big knife shots in his day, trust me. Well, you look at it, and you know, Bill Collier's a big guy, but look at Stevie Richards. He's almost this big guy. And people forget how Stevie, I mean, he's bulked up in later years, yeah, but He's still in shape. He's still in great ring shape. Maybe, maybe the best condition of his career. I have a nice second that. He looks great. Like you said, he's gotten more muscular, better shape as his career has gone on, and that's that's a ticket to longevity in this business, but Beal throw by Collier out of the corner. Oh, Stevie. Oh, it doesn't like that. He gets pushed to the canvas. Well, shoving match going on now again. Collier getting the best. That shoving match. Now again, Stevie Richards standing the hand of friendship. Sportsmanship. And now they're staring him, getting right in his face. Collier just squeezing on that right hand of Richards, you can see, and now going to the rope to break the hold for free dickhead. 
Yeah, um, these guys look like they forgot to win the wrestling match. They just want to prove who's the bigger, stronger man, which sometimes happens. Um, there's a lot of ego involved, as well as the money and the championship aspirations, Scotty. But sometimes these guys, they forget about it. just want to say, okay, who is no more El Macho than the other one? But C.B. Richard came in there. He's taking on one of the biggest men in ESW. He knew that coming in. Yeah, definitely. See, see how you know, he's never been one to back away from a challenge, whether inside or outside the ring. Now shoulders directed right into the midsection of Collier and follows up with a couple back elbows in the corner. Collier, unable to defend himself. And now Richards taking it to the next level. But Collier fires right back. And you can hear those chops ring across the St. Johnsburg Fire Hall. You can see the head snapping back on Richards, and now Collier. Forearm. I was out of the corner. Oh, Richards went in hard. Collier comes off the way. Oh, Miz with a big boot. Kind of crotches himself. Oh, and then Richards kicks to that left knee. And then smart by Richards. Crotches himself with his right knee, and Richards goes to the left and take out both stumps of the big man. Smart wrestling by Stevie Richards. And that's the experience of Stevie Richards. Like I said, he's been all over the world. Russell for all the big major promotions throughout his career. And if anything, he's going to need it here against big time Bill Collier. Thank you. And now, got Collier locked up in a leg lock here. And again, you got to remember, Collier doesn't want his shoulders to go to the canvas. Richard Head's right on top. He can hit three. Before Collier knows it. Doing a damage on the hammies, both of them, Scotty, too. So Bill Collier is kind of in a no win situation. Collier trying to reverse it. A figure four. Richards doesn't have any completely. Oh, and now the reversal. The, re the rollover. And now Richards, though, to that bottom rope, you can see. Again, Richard had right on top of the action, calling for that, that break, that five count. Now Richards has got a, a game plan here mid mid match. He saws that left wheel going right after it. Taking a page right out of the, the Anderson's playbook. Taking a body part and just mantling it. And again, a big guy like Collier, you want to attack his legs. Good points, guys, because this match, I think we both um, started under the slug vest, and it did for quite a while. But now, like the veteran president is Stevie Richards. And I'll just be repeating what you mentioned. Finding a body part, working on it, and he's found the legs, both of them. But again, that's a veteran ring experience for Stevie Richards. Sometimes you go into the game plan, but you know what? Things change. You got to call an audible. And when Collier went in with that big boot, he saw an opportunity now going after that left leg of Collier. And you want to keep Collier down. You don't want him on his vertical base here. Plus, he's going to take away the power of his strikes. He's going to have less balance, less power behind those, again, strikes. And that's what Richards is hoping for. Nine, right to the knee again. Oh, Collier coming there with a big clothesline. Or a leg, or an arm lariat, if you will. Collier's still got a lot left in the tank. You can still see the ill effects of that left leg, though. He's trying to shake that off, as you can see. Not staying on top of the attack. He's trying to wake that left knee back up. Trying to get the blood flowing back in it. And comes rushing again, again. Too much time, and now Stevie Richards waited with an elbow. Oh, and a spear by Collier. Unable to make the cover though Richard Head laying down the 10 count oh you're looking at wait a minute the lights just went out okay did we pay the electric bill what's going on we know that Bill Carr has been taunted he's been taunted with those cryptic messages I'm coming for you. But he doesn't see Stevie Richards. Oh, Stevie kick! Stevie kick, cover two, three, it's over. Stevie Richards just stole one here tonight. Stevie Richards stole one, but does Stevie Richards have anything to do with that cryptic message that distracted Bill Guy and Scotty? What do you know, Scotty? What do you know about this? He just lit Collier up. Collier, unbeknownst, trying to pay his attention to the ES Dumbletron. But who's behind the message? That's what we want to know, Scotty. 
You think you want to know? I can tell you one person who definitely wants to know, Bill Collier. Indeed, Stevie Richards gets the Duke in what was a seesaw battle throughout the contest, but that Stevie kick put Collier down for the three. We thought it was RJ City was playing nine games with it before. Now this is something I would want to bet on in sports. Who's behind conspiracy of Bill Cox? More to come here, but your winner here tonight, Stevie Richards.